Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Big Idea Experience. Cody here, and I'm excited to get to talk to you about the big idea of patience. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. And that really is a huge, big idea. And I've got a really cool experiment that we can do with that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it is hard to wait. It is so hard to wait when you've been looking forward to that movie night all week long it is hard to wait for friday night to come so you can do that or when your friends are going to come over or when you get out of school sometimes it is hard to look forward to spring break and things like that it is really hard to wait and a lot of times i feel a lot like this balloon it's funny this balloon is filled with air and as you fill it with air that pressure builds and if you keep blowing and inflating the balloon you know what will happen it will it'll pop well that's how i feel when I have to wait for a really long time for something I really wanna do right now. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little experiment, okay? And we're gonna add a little bit of patience to the equation and we'll see what happens. So follow me, here we go. What we're gonna do is we are actually gonna put the balloon in the freezer. What? That's right, uh, a freezer for this. And a freezer in this case is gonna represent patience. So here we go, let's cool off the balloon and see what happens. All right, here we go. Let's check and see how we're doing. Whoa, check it out. There is actually, it's deflated quite a bit. Look at all that room that's in here now just from cooling it off. Hey, let's take a closer look and see how that worked. My question is, how does that work? How was the balloon able to take some pressure off and have some extra breathing room, so to speak, while it was in the freezer? Well, here's a really cool thing. Here's how the science works, is that hot air molecules are actually moving faster. And because of that, when they're moving faster, they are actually expanding more. And so they take up more space while they do that. That's pretty cool. But the opposite of that is true as well. Cold air molecules tend to, uh, uh, move slower and they get closer together and so because of that it seems like it shrinks As a matter of fact the same thing happens with your tire with your parents tires on their car in the summer their tires might seem a little bit overinflated because the air molecules are moving faster and in the winter it might seem like their tires are flat like they've shrunken because of that but uh here's the thing uh I think it would be really fun to see how this would happen a little bit faster, okay? It kind of tried my patience just waiting for the balloon to get smaller. But what I think would be fun is if we sped it up a little bit. So uh, in typical big idea experience fashion, we've got a way to make this go big. And ladies and gentlemen, I have dry ice. That's right, uh, this is pretty cool. I've got a mixture up here of dry ice and rubbing alcohol. And uh, so I've got gloves on because this stuff is really, really cold. As a matter of fact, uh, it's at least three times colder than what traditional regular ice is. This is just frozen gas, it's pretty cool. So uh, we're gonna add this in here and we're gonna see, uh, this is gonna get it really, really cold. And we're gonna be able to see it happen really quick, how the balloon can shrink because of the colder air. So check it out, we'll add in some dry ice. Oh yeah, nice and bubbly, looking awesome. Here we go, just a little bit more. Now, all we have to do is just add the balloon into our mixture and we'll see how it instantly cools off and begins to see, look, you can even see how my fingers as it's pressing on it. Right now, the, the, it's cooling the air around the outside of the balloon. And as it's doing that, it's making the inside molecules uh, contract and stay closer and tighter to each other. Whew, it's pretty chilly over here, so uh, don't do this at home. And if you do, make sure you have uh, your parents help you out and wear some nice gloves. So this balloon is pretty deflated, but it's pretty cool. Uh, as, as soon as the molecules warm up, uh, the pressure builds back up in here as well. So uh, that, that warmth allows those molecules to start moving faster again, and it fills the balloon up again. So it's pretty cool how that works. So uh, this is actually just such a great example of patience, not only because it took a, a while to get the balloon to freeze in the freezer, but the truth is whenever we are having a hard time waiting, there's just so much pressure. And so what do we do when we get to that point where we feel like <laughs> 
we're about to pop. Well, the best thing we could do is just apply a little bit of patience to our lives. And remember that we can wait until later for what we want now. And, uh, you know, if you want to take the pressure off while you're waiting, one of the best things you can do is think about what's true. Maya Angelou said this, all great achievements require time. You know, not everything happens instantly. Not everything happens right away. And things that are really worthwhile, things that are really meaningful, often take the most time for them to develop. And so when you're having a hard time waiting, just remember to take the pressure off by having a little bit of patience. Think about this question. Matter of fact, talk about it with the people that are around you who you're watching this with, whether that's a, a classmate or your teacher or your school counselor or maybe even your parents. But what can you think about when it's hard to wait? Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.